In Kenya's Savo National Park, scientists and animal rights activists are conducting the complex and potentially dangerous operation of tranquilizing a wild elephant aimed at saving its life. While the baby elephant lingers nearby and its mother peacefully snores, Scientists and animal technicians from Kenya Wildlife Service and Save the Elephants organization swarm around her, taking measurements and attaching a heavy-duty collar that will track her movements. The main objective for tracking these animals for this particular exercise is for us to know where they cross the roads and where they cross the standard gauge railway that is currently under construction. Authorities want to know whether the animals are using the existing underpasses, as well as where to build new ones to minimize the chances of collisions with moving trains or with traffic on a nearby highway. The part of the Nairobi-Mombasa line that runs through the Savo Park is being built at a raised level, allowing space for underpasses. But there are other reasons for tracking the elephants' movements. Elephants are uh, raiding farms. So we want to follow them and uh, so that at least we plan when uh, we know they're going and uh, when um, it's safe for us to remove them from this side to the other side. According to the 2011 census, more than 12,000 elephants live in Savo Conservation Area, but only 10 of them will be fitted with tracking colors. It is a very expensive exercise. Uh, one collar is approximately 4,000 US dollars. So we are putting this much resources to try and quantify in scientific ways how infrastructure is affecting uh, wildlife distribution and more so elephants. So that now in future we'll have a scientific backup to help uh, inform decision making. Scientists say, in spite of their care, the number of elephants in the Savo National Park keeps dropping due to urbanization, climate change and poaching. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.